Ooh, shooting star. This is like the sixth video I've recorded today. You better appreciate what I'm doing for you people. <laughs> yeah. Hello there, everybody. This is Siwat the Plan One here, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Fox SNES Semi Blinded. All right. So, last time, we traveled through Andross's space armada and destroyed it. We also took care of things at the Battle Base Meteor. So now. We're going off to the first of Venoms in this game, because I don't know what the heck is up with Venom. It's that thing that snakes do. And wow, that plant, that render of that plant actually looks pretty cool. Andros is hiding on Venom. Fox, you must find his core brain and destroy it. Yes, indeed, we will. Good luck. Good luck. All right, so here we got another space stage. Space stage, space stage, space stage. And yeah, now we know where uh, Sonic for Hire gets its space effects from. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, this is basically your kind of, sort of, maybe Area 6 type level. I believe this is. I don't exactly remember because... Remember, yeah, like I said, I did take this path before. I did not take the rest of the paths. But... I honestly don't remember what the heck to even do in this path at all. <laughs> Not at all. Because that's a thing. Alright, so basically just shoot down enemies whenever necessary you have and you... And again, you want to get their things or whatever the heck just appeared there. What was that, by the way? That looked like some weird creature thing that I don't understand because I'm 12. I'm 12 and I don't understand things. Then again, I do act 12, so yeah, there we go. I hope I didn't act 12 in that Xenoblade stream, because this is not like this is recorded before. I swear to God. <laughs> no, I'm not going to act like a baby and be all like, yeah, this is the best game. No, I'm going to be mature about it and say this is the best game and all the games can't handle it except Majora's Mask. And a 3DS version. <laughs> But anyway, I really wish you could, like, switch over to, like, the thing. Slippy! Why? Why you do this? But I'm serious when I say, like, why can't you, like, change to, like, a uh, third-person view? Because I'm, I'm actually more comfortable with this. I mean, I mean, I'm not doing a terrible job at this particular uh, first-person section at all. I'm not doing particularly bad. I'm just saying I prefer... I prefer the third person thing better where you actually see the ship and you actually see what the heck you're doing. Because remember, you're only seeing things from the cockpit of the ship. Like, um, you're not seeing what's happening around around you, like the wings or anything like that. Like, what if you're, what if one of your wings gets like damaged or something? And, uh, and, uh, you don't see it happening. And you're not going to be around to see it. I don't know. But what I do know is I'm doing a... I'm actually not doing that bad of a job at this level at all. Seriously. <laughs> um, Let's see. Here it is. Here's boss fight. Now, I don't really remember this boss at all. Huh. And oh, okay. So apparently, I find it. Apparently, this boss is easy. Easy. What you call it? Whoa! What the heck is it doing? What the? What the? What? What the? Huh? Oh, it's making the clones. Of course, the freaking clones. And I'm gonna have to move very, very fast when it moves. Okay. And okay, that was easy. <laughs> And that was stage five, I guess. We did it! Let's go! Let's -a go! And here we go. And wow, 100% score! Wow! Nice! And oh, okay, so this stage now I remember. Yeah, there's a stage six all along. And does anyone... Wow, I forgot how cool that background looks. <laughs> and yeah, does anyone remember this? 
And what? Does anyone remember uh, this music from Melee? Well, most people thought it was an original track. Well, you got it wrong. You got it wrong because this is actually the music from this game. When you're on Venom. Yep. When you're actually on Venom, this music happens. And you know, that one Corneria song that everyone remembers from that one Corneria stage that keeps appearing in every single Smash game except the Wii U version? I don't get it either. But what I do get is the fact that I don't want... Oh, okay. Okay. Good. Alright, so you basically have to avoid out of the way to deal with those. Alright. Nope! <sighs> Great. Wonderful. I'm doing a bang-up job at this. I like this track. I like this track, though. It's really great. Especially since everyone who's like, who really loves Corneria, meaning Sakurai loves Corneria, that everyone freaking loves this track for whatever reason. Well, except that one part isn't there, because I think that's... Uh, that's the, uh... Space Armada that appears in that one part of the Corneria track from uh, Melee. And wow, okay, the frame rate is terrible. <laughs> Good lord, the frame rate. Can the frame rate be any more s badly like what I just did right now? Yeah. The frame rate could be more terrible than it actually is, but eh. What are you gonna do? Alright, back to the part with the pillars with the really bad frame rate. Now, let's see. I don't want to have to run into those. No. Because that will cost me a lot of health, and a lot of health is very bad for me, and wow, 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 wow. Okay. <laughs> They're really coming down, like, in a way that made me go, like, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> like, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> yeah. Whatever, I got the thing anyway. Yay. Alright, so upgrade blasters. Like I didn't mention, like, this game has, like, semi-voice acting or something. Which is why you're hearing all these random phrases. Apparently that works for, like, Super Nintendo stuff. Like, incoming enemy, for instance, whenever a boss fight appears. So yeah, that's a thing. And now what the heck are you gonna do? Gonna shoot down the clones again. That worked, that worked well for you last time, and that will work for you this time as well. So basically, you probably want to shoot the one that will get you the most damage, dealing stuff out of all of them. And what's it doing now? Is it just going to leave me alone? It probably is. Except it isn't, because the boss, because that music kicks in, and that's where things get serious. Okay, so once again, I you pretty much got to shoot it in the glowy part. Shoot it in the glowy part, because that works for everything. For every boss fight in the game. And don't... No. No way. Do I want to... What? 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 What was it doing now? Oh. Dang. I thought it was going to be, like, dangerous or something, but it was. All right, come on, come on. Oh yeah, you're gonna shoot the clone. You're gonna get the clones at me. That's cool. Except it didn't do any clones at all and I just died right there. Surprisingly, they don't go all like, except, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? What am I trying to say? What am I trying to say? I can't, I keep on losing my train of thought right here. Surprisingly, they don't go, the teammates don't go, Fox or something like that. It's really weird. But now that we've upgraded blasters, now we can have a time with this boss. Well, first phase of the boss fight isn't really that bad. It's all a matter of not getting a game over again. It's just all in the good fun of not getting a game over again, which would suck. But I think, no, that's not it at all. Weird, it's usually like the third one that I get. It's really weird. It's usually like the third one that you shoot. Huh. That's strange. 
But now it's going to transform into the frog again. Well, thankfully, I have a credit of sorts. Well, thankfully, I have a, an extra credit, so... That's fascinating and neat. But now I'm going to have to avoid things more now. Because I really do not want to die here. I seriously do not. But, you know, that's the thing. I can actually just go ahead and use the bombs to do my dirty work for me. You know, when he's shooting out all those uh, energy stuff at, it, at me. I could probably just do that. Like that. <laughs> that way, hopefully, and I'm hoping, hoping, yeah. I am hoping that that uh, that will be a thing. And no, 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 no. I'm saying no a lot in this LP, I swear. <laughs> Gotta get him when the no. Gotta get him when the moment is correct. All right. Get him from over there. Come on. No. That's my word of the LP. Do you want to know what the word of the day is? No! That's correct. Wow! And also, wow. Because apparently you can shoot those legs. He's got them legs. And I don't think... Wait, I still have a thing left. Alright. Weird, he doesn't... Weird, he doesn't like... They don't give out gold rings. Dang it. Oh well. So now just now it's all a matter of will I die or will I not die? Alright. Alright, so hopefully I'm not gonna be dead here because I really need to concentrate on finding a good balance between moving and getting out of the way. Cause those two are technically the same thing. Cause they just are. This music sounds like it should belong on Mega Man X, by the way. <laughs> like, seriously, like, some of the music here kind of reminds me of Mega Man X in a strange sort of way. Or at least maybe the Mega Man X series in general. And, shoot. I'm probably gonna die here. Yeah, I'm probably gonna die here. And he's not getting rid of those anytime soon. And no, stop it! Come on, computer! Why do you keep on doing that? I'm not pressing anything on the mouse, like seriously. Okay. Just gotta get in, just gotta get away from the thing when he shoots that. Alright. Then there will be the perfect opportune moment to do that. Then just keep moving. Just keep moving. Alright. Just keep on shooting, keep on shooting, keep on shooting, keep on shooting. Yeah, baby! Yeah! And explosion! And please, for the love of God, don't make me restart if I die here. Don't make me restart, please. The stage if I die here. I really don't want to die here anymore. Fox, you are indeed a worthy foe. Yeah, I know I am. That's why. Oh, thank God! Health! Instant gratification! And, oh. Okay. So, they give you a thing. And, whoa. Okay. Instant gratification. Alright. Keep on saying instant gratification. It's weird. And, wow! Okay, so now I've upgraded to those. Your all wings have no chance against me. Well, whoa! Okay, this is trippy. I've gotten this is trippy. And... Here's the guy! Here's Andros. Here's the Andros we all know from Smash Brothers for some crazy ass reason. Not like the monkey. One... From... The thing... What? Oh, okay. Pretty much would have forgotten that he sucks you up. And wow! Okay. 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 I refuse to... Not... Not get deaded here and wow okay blew out one of his eyes all right yeet yeet okay good all right 
So basically blow out his eyes. That's what you have to do. Strangely enough, you can't do this in uh, Smash Brothers to get rid of the assist trophy or Smash 4. And no idea why, but you can't. And also what, 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 what? I say it, what, what? I don't think I should have any problem like dodging these. <laughs> really? And wow, okay, yay! Yeah! Now you gotta take care of this thing. The cube! This is the cube of chaos. And... Yeah! Yeah! Yes! Winning! Duh! And I think this is a control. Okay, thank God it's not controlled. Thank God. Return of the Jedi! All ships check in. Ribbit, I'll bring up the rear. I'm behind you, and I'm with you. Yay! I survived. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, don't be fooled by the ending sequence. We're not done with this. Let's play by a long shot. Nope. We're not. We're not. There's still, like, two other pathways that I really need to play, and I have never played them before, so... Yeah, this is the part where the game goes completely blind for me. This is the point where the game goes blind. <laughs> so, stage one, 84%. Stage two, 84%. Uh, stage three, frame rate issue. Stage four, 86%. And finally, stage 5, 100%. And stage 6 is 77%. Alright. So what do I get as an average? Or do they not calculate averages? Well, they give you a total score. Okay. Oh, they do give you an average score. Okay. 88%. Alright, that's not too bad. That is not too bad at all. This is Cornelia, Pepper speaking. Congratulations on a job well done. Roger, I'm heading back to Cornelia. I didn't even think I'm talking right there. <laughs> I didn't, I wasn't, okay, the strange thing is that I didn't really think I'm talking right there. I was just, well. <laughs> and here we go, boss roll call. Attack carrier, missile blaster, and stage five, blah, blah, blah. Wow. Okay, so they give you, like, detailed descriptions of bosses. Okay, that's neat. You know, I like it when games do that. Like, they give you, like, detailed descriptions of things. That's pretty cool. Rock crusher, laser, height six, weight six, D, whatever the heck the D is. Okay. <laughs> whatever the D is. We all know what it's saying. Can all right, so let's see. And apparently that was level one. Okay, thank God. Space Armada. Atomic base, weapon, laser! And height 600, weight 850, and dimensions, or whatever it is, 1200. Jesus, that's huge. And what is this thing? Is this like a spider bot? This is like a spider bot, isn't it? Dancing in sector. Dancing in sector. Well, <laughs> oh boy, okay. So, level one Venom, Fantron, Laser, everyone has a, okay, I'm just gonna call it like every boss in this game is gonna be like a laser type, uh, weapon type of enemy, I suppose. And then what's this boss's true form? It's called, uh, Fantron, okay. So it's basically the same thing anyway. <laughs> yep. Pretty much the same deal with that, I guess. And finally, there's Andros right there. Andros Polygon. Andros dot dot dot. Weapon telekinesis. Heights 100. 
something. Star Trek. <laughs> yeah, notice the dot 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 right there. Obviously something's gonna happen. Wow, okay. And yeah. That was Star Fox, except we're not done with the game yet. <laughs> Now, I'll show off this entire sequence when we get to the end of the LP, but yeah, that's it for this path, I suppose. So next time on Let's Play Star Fox, we're going to a entirely new path. And I don't know if I should start with Corneria or not. Hmm. I probably won't, but eh, what are you going to do? If it's different, then... Yeah, who am I kidding? I'll record that anyway. So, we're going to do an entirely new path next time on Let's Play Star Fox. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.